breaking up is hard to do unless it's with a car, truck, or SUV that doesn't live up to expectations. Whether it's buyer's remorse, high ownership costs, reliability issues, or maybe the reality it just didn't live up to the hype, a surprising amount of new car buyers part ways with their purchase within the first year of ownership. According to a recent study conducted by IC Cars, it revealed which new car models owners most often got rid of within the first year. The automotive research firm analyzed over 46 million car transactions to determine the number of new cars that were subsequently resold as used within the initial year. And we have compiled the top 9 of those vehicles from bottom to top. Before we go, please take a second to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future videos. Number 9. Nissan Versa The Nissan Versa is basic, entry-level transportation. It's supremely affordable, but when it comes to reliability, it has a bad reputation. According to Consumer Reports, the latest-gen Versa has a very low owner satisfaction rate. It lacks a lot of features that are standard in competitor cars. With its bland styling and bare-bones build, many buyers may grow wary living with less. A 122-horsepower, 1.6-liter, four-cylinder engine is the only choice of powertrain. Most trims continue to be equipped with a CVT transmission. CR testers noted the car feels like it struggles to merge quickly or climb a hill, and accompanies that movement with a droning engine note. Perhaps that is why little over 8.7% of buyers said farewell to the Versa and Versa Note in their first year of ownership. Basic is good, but sometimes being too basic can get tedious. Number 8. Jaguar XF The XF is arguably the most agile mid-sized luxury sedan. It's taut and nimble, with lively steering, yet possesses a supple and compressed ride that makes it somewhat enjoyable to drive. A 2021 refresh brings updated interior and exterior styling, but now the only engine available is a 2-liter turbo 4-cylinder as the supercharged 3-liter V6 is discontinued. The new front-end design features a new grille with lower air intakes and new double-J LED daytime running lights. But all the style and curvaceous bodywork in the world isn't enough to hold on to buyers if the experience of ownership is poor. The XF suffers from underwhelming performance, reliability issues, and perhaps most problematic of all, a huge cost of ownership. Overall, 8.8% of buyers found issues with the Jag and got rid of it before the first year was over. Number 7. BMW X3 The redesigned third-generation X3 picks up and improves upon where the previous version left off, keeping its title as one of the best-driving compact SUVs. It may seem that BMW is just making SUVs incrementally bigger than the previous version, but the new X3 proves itself to be impressively talented thanks to its desirable blend of driving enjoyment, comfort, luxury, utility, and high-tech features. The BMW's turbocharged four-cylinder engine delivers ample power that's polished and nearly immediate when you step on the accelerator. Though the compact SUV got above-average owner satisfaction score on CR, the majority of them gave poor ratings for value-for-the-money category. That could be why 9% of owners ditched the middle child of BMW's SUV lineup in less than a year of ownership. That's despite the luxury, tech features, and excellent handling. Number 6. BMW X1 Thanks to BMW's numerical naming system, it's easy to figure out where all the SUVs stack up in the hierarchy. The X1 is BMW's smallest and cheapest crossover. The second-generation model, launched in 2020, is roomy and fuel-efficient for the class of entry-luxury SUVs and brimming with technology. However, it gives up some BMW's core qualities of handling agility and refinement. Even though the turbocharged four-cylinder engine has enough punch to make the X1 move at a good pace, we found much of the usual BMW magic missing from the X1. The driving experience lacks the purity we've come to know from the brand, and it's not as quiet or comfortable as befitting an upscale car at this price either. CR shows the lowest owner satisfaction rating for the 2021 BMW X1. Drivers report that the little bimmer is loud on the freeway, and the ride can be jarring over rough roads. This led 10.4% of buyers to decide that the X1 wasn't good enough to keep around more than a year. Number 5. Mini Clubman The Clubman is a stretched version of Mini's Cooper hatchback and shares its platform with the BMW X1. 
The four-cylinder turbo engine is punchy and sounds sporty. Handling is quite nimble, but the ride is very firm and road noise is pronounced. Unlike the regular Coopers, most people can get adjusted to Clubman's back seat. Controls take some getting used to, but ultimately prove to be logical. The rear view is compromised by the two rear barn doors. With typical options, the Clubman's price ascends quickly toward the $40,000 mark. 2021 model year received a 2 out of 5 owner satisfaction rating on Consumer Reports. Poor reviews, high maintenance costs, and a driving experience that doesn't live up to the hype likely influenced the 10.7% of buyers who gave the Clubman a send-off party and ownership year one. Before we move on to the next vehicle, if you like this video so far, please take a moment to give us a like. Number 4. Land Rover Evoque Don't be sucked in by the Evoque's attractive styling, flashy interior, and Land Rover brand cachet. This overpriced luxury SUV has a disappointing drivetrain, a rough and bumpy ride, and confounding controls. According to CR testers, the new Evoque is the least talented luxury compact SUV, yet the most expensive. The frustration starts as soon as you hit the gas pedal, with a delay when accelerating from a standstill, followed by an abrupt burst of power when the turbo engine finally kicks in. The automatic engine stop-start system is also slow to re-engage, making things worse. The transmission's gear shifts aren't particularly smooth either, and downshifts don't come quickly enough when the gas pedal is pressed harder. On CR, the small SUV received a low reliability and owner satisfaction rating. Add to the dilemma, high ownership costs, insurance, and high maintenance costs contributed to 10.9% of buyers ditching the Evoque after less than a year. Number 3. Land Rover Discovery Sport the Discovery Sport only has one unique selling point setting it apart from the Evoque. You can have it with seven seats. It comes standard with identical 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engines producing 246 horsepower and 269 pound-foot of torque as on Evoque. Though bearing the crest and warrant of the British royal family is a cool branding touch, it gets you only so far around the country club forecourt. But in all fairness, the Discovery Sport can handle a bit of light off-roading thanks to some electronic trickery. A disappointing fuel economy, a lethargic powertrain, an irksome transmission, a poor reliability score, and an unjustified starting price of over $44,000 are just some of the reasons why 11.8% of owners said done within 12 months of buying this SUV. On top of that, Discovery Sport tends to depreciate at a quicker rate than average. This means that the vehicle loses its value more rapidly, another possible reason why owners got rid of it quicker. Number 2. BMW 3 Series BMW's 3 Series have always been the benchmark for sports sedans. The Bavarian company's smooth and powerful turbo engines and a well-tuned, balanced chassis have made the 3 Series the choice for drivers who want luxury, power, and handling. The drivetrain in the 330i xDrive trim is nearly without fault. The 4-cylinder turbo engine delivers plenty of punch and the 8-speed automatic transmission shifts quickly and smoothly. It leaves from a stop without any turbo or transmission-related delays, delivering more than enough get-up-and-go for any situation. However, not all that glitters is gold, and the 3 Series suffers from high insurance expenses and high maintenance costs. 11.8% of buyers sent the midsize Bimmer packing within the first year of ownership. Number 1. Mercedes-Benz C-Class the Mercedes-Benz C-Class is the German marquee's mid-size luxury sedan that's slowly evolving into a mini S-Class. The styling is now starting to follow that of the bigger sedans, and the technology and luxury on the inside mirrors the bigger cars as well. Despite the upscale appearance and features, the C-Class is the car that has gotten rid of most by buyers in the first year, with 12.4% of buyers saying no more to the handsome sedan. Maintenance costs, insurance costs, and high cost of ownership likely have a lot to do with that high return rate. I hope you liked this video. If you found any value in today's content whatsoever, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our future videos.